love fiber because it helps eliminate everything out of your body. I'm Ruthie Otero from my one person show and I'm here today with my good friend Jill Annenberg Lawrence who I enjoy calling Jilly Jill. Jilly Jill! Jilly Jill is a board certified holistic health coach and personal trainer. The reason I invited her is because I'm going to be doing my show within about 60 to 90 days mm -hmm. and I thought she would be the perfect person to talk to to get in shape. I have kind of a body conscious um, costume so I want to get rid of fat but I don't want to lose weight. Mm -hmm. What can I do with my nutrition? nutrition to help me do that. You have to make sure that you're having enough protein. Protein is what's going to sustain, it's going to feed your muscles. Cutting out stuff like cheese and a lot of the high dairy products because they're okay. so condensed with like so much saturated fat. You know, in terms of like you're talking up on stage a lot, it produces a ton of mucus. Yeah. Adding in good stuff like wild salmon. I'm not like a huge meat person, but if you do, grass fed. What if I'm trying to avoid meat? So beans, legumes, lentils are great. They're so high in protein and fiber. Tempeh is great. It's fermented soybeans. Oh, and also you want to cut out a lot of the, the shitty sugar, you know, where it's refined white sugar. I love my sweets, but you want to have stuff that's sweetened with raw honey, dates, uh, maple okay. syrup, coconut sugar, like those oh, okay. things your body can recognize and break down. I'll sometimes have eggs wrapped in mm -hmm. a tortilla with avocado. What kind of tortilla? Corn. <laughs> I would just um, make a healthier switch. Ezekiel brand has great tortillas and it's sprouted so it's easier on your digestion. They also have English muffins. So I would have granola mm -hmm. with yogurt and chopped up fruit and mm -hmm. then the cacao nibs at Trader great. Joe's. Well, it depends on the type of yogurt that you're eating. Greek yogurt's always good because it has no sugar added and it's extra protein. I would switch over to either coconut or almond milk yogurt if you're gonna be doing yogurts. Oh, Height Hill does almond yogurt, which is delicious from almonds which are high in calcium vitamin e the good you know good fats like you want good fats in your diet i want to go back to the legumes which, legumes oh with my beans or legumes mm -hmm. i want to have rice so white rice they break down really quickly okay. so you immediately digest it okay. but if you're trying to have sustained energy that's why you want to have like brown rice quinoa millet um, buckwheat, like any of those are great because they're high in both fiber and protein. Give me a quick list mm -hmm. of what the foods that I can eat and burn calories. So apple cider. There are foods that can help me burn calories. Yeah, apple cider okay. vinegar. It doesn't taste great, but if you put a little lemon juice in your water and drink that before meals or first thing in the morning, oh, that's okay. going to jumpstart your metabolism. Adding cayenne pepper or any type of chilies to your food, that ramps up your metabolism. Having leafy greens, blueberries, So salmon. what is speeding up my metabolism? I feel like that's going to make me lose weight. But it also is just going to keep you like burning and incinerating any of the fat that you want to lose. Oh, okay. One other thing, because I know there are people who are like, what kind of problem is that? Everything that you mentioned, will it also help me lose weight? Yeah. Yeah, because those foods are healthy, they're high in fiber, they have tons of antioxidants. For Ruthie or anybody else who loses weight really quickly, it's making sure that you're having a good pre and post meal with both protein and carb. And after, fiber inhibits your protein digestion, so you just want to have protein and carbohydrates. So I'm gonna go work out. Name what I need to put in my body. So you could have like half a banana and like a nut butter. You could have um, like a little bowl of oatmeal with some berries. Um, and then know, after the workout, what can um, I have? If you, eat, if you eat meat, you could have like some lean chicken, you could have eggs, um, match it with like a slice of toast. So I'm gonna work out at one. When do I eat my snack beforehand? I would eat like maybe 45 minutes or an hour before. Awesome, and I finish my mm -hmm. workout at two, when can I eat? You wanna eat within 30 to 45 minutes. If I go and take a spin class, I bring a shaker bottle with protein powder in it and I just mix it with water and chug it on the drive home. Okay, so this is a big one. Okay. I do an hour long show, mm -hmm. I gotta memorize this. Mm -hmm. So is there anything I can eat that's good for my memory? Yeah, so foods that are high in omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3? Omega-3s feed your brain. So it's a fatty acid, our brains are 60% fat, so think of things like wild caught fish, um, salmon, trout, tuna. If you don't eat fish, you can have walnuts, flax seeds, flax seed oil, spinach, broccoli. Any of those items are high in omega-3s or you could just take oh, a supplement. Yeah. Any fruit? Uh, berries are good. Berries are high in anthocyanins, which increase your cognition and in turn will increase your memory. Oh. Um, sipping on green tea, not only does it help you like speed up your metabolism and thin out a little bit, but it's a brain booster because it has theanine in it. I just recently wrote a blog on casting networks. We can link it in here. That's all about so many different factors that play into memory, you know, with stress and what you eat, what you shouldn't eat, all that stuff. <laughs> what snacks would you recommend that would increase my creativity? Anything? So you guys are gonna love this. Um, having in moderation, like a cup or two of coffee, because obviously we know there's good and bad sides of caffeine. Okay. But it 
expands our blood vessels it makes you excited like you want to get oh. work done um, but having one or two cups because then you're not getting all jittery and crazy okay. um, if you don't drink coffee yerba mate tea is great it has um, naturally occurring type of caffeine in it. it just gives you that boost and makes you all excited and wanting to write or to perform or do what you need to do um, and then going back to chocolate raw that's dark what I heard. chocolate mm -hmm. so cacao it's the raw form of chocolate it has anandamide which is the bliss chemical so it makes you feel all good so what about those chocolate bars that are like 73 percent cacao those are cool yeah if you just want your dark chocolate to have a couple different ingredients is there any mm -hmm. way to deal with the stress because the deadline's coming things are happening and i'm getting stressed out so cacao uh -huh. it's a superfood and it's really high in magnesium which helps slow down your nervous system and chill you the fuck out. Okay. Can really? Say, can I say the F word? Be yourself, girl. Be yourself. Cashews are high in zinc, which is linked to reducing depression and anxiety. Awesome. Yeah, and berries are great. Again, really high in vitamin C, and vitamin C helps battle stress. <clears throat> so I'll be in rehearsal where I need my energy, and sometimes I'll just reach for a chocolate bar to keep me going. It yeah. kind of puts me all over the place. Um, you can make your own little trail mix. Like pumpkin seeds are also um, really great for relieving stress. You know, I would make a trail mix. Almonds, walnuts, pistachios. If you are craving something sweet, a couple of the dried fruits, you can do dried apples, um, figs, dates. Those will give you like quick energy, but it's not gonna like spike your blood sugar the way a Snickers bar would. Okay. And then there's tons of really healthy bars out there. I love Go Macro, the Kind Bar, which I, I only eat the one, dark chocolate with sea salt, because it has the least amount of ingredients all recognizable. If you want something sweet, that's the way to go. Um, Health Warrior has amazing bars. They're all made from ancient grains and wow. all plant protein. So if you're vegan or vegetarian, those are awesome. I usually bring an apple. Is an apple I good for I love apples. Soul? Yes, apples are awesome. Green apples have the least amount of sugar. But you always want to make sure, seriously, to get organic apples and organic berries, anything leafy, anything that's sprayed with the pesticides and herbicides on the area that you're going to be consuming because there's like 40 to 50 different chemicals on there. A gala mm -hmm. apple with walnuts Yes. and dried apricots. I'm, I'm set for my rehearsal. I would just do fresh fruit and the nuts and leave out the dried fruit for later because oh. you don't want to double up on the fruit. So it's the day of the show. Good luck. Athletes and stuff, you're supposed to carb up. Mm -hmm. And I'll sometimes have pasta, but it bloats my belly. What can I eat that won't bloat me, but will also give me energy? We're keeping it somewhat lighter. I'm a huge fan of oats or oatmeal. If you were going to have a little bit of carbs, because you do need to have some carbohydrates to sustain your energy. So oh. if you wanted to have pasta, trying out quinoa or brown rice pasta, and then adding in, you know, different types of proteins, like nuts and seeds on top of something, mm. um, doing like lean chicken or tuna, and then the vegetables vegetables that aren't like the cruciferous type that cause gas. The cruci who? Cruciferous! So you know like broccoli and cauliflower, like you want to stay away from that and have green oh. beans or asparagus or spinach. Those are all great because they're very light vegetables, they're not starchy. What kind of meal I should have right before a show? Small salad with a little vinaigrette dressing. I would do like half a cup to a cup of brown rice, some green beans, and a piece of wild salmon. And what if I'm vegetarian? Do black beans, white uh, garbanzo beans, lentils, any of those types of beans or legumes. Anything else? Stay hydrated. Coconut water is awesome. Stay away from soda or sugars or coffee or smoking. And if you do, just stop in general yeah. um, and just take a deep breath and enjoy yourself. I'm going to add Jill's website below, which is JillLawrenceHealth.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. And in the comments below, why don't you just let us know how you get ready to do your one person show. So remember, there is no audition for the story you were born to tell. So tell it. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. All right, see you guys later. Bye. So I want to get our heads in.